Hello friends, my name is Bharat and you are watching English with Mr. B. I am a teacher by profession and have been teaching English grammar, written and spoken English for past more than 16 years. And this is a platform where I put my 16 years of experiments and experience to help those who wish to learn English. I thank my dear subscribers for their incessant trust and support. I promise to give you the value that you have been looking for. And if you are visiting this channel for the first time, I welcome you to join this community of learning simply by clicking the subscribe button and be a part of this wonderful YouTube family. This video is especially going to be awesome because I'm going to talk about homonyms, homophones, homographs and heteronyms. Now you might wonder what on earth are homonyms, homophones, homographs and heteronyms? Well, they are nothing but specific terms given to specific kinds of words. Once you understand what they are, how they are pronounced and what they mean, most of your mistakes will be avoided. So this video is going to be a doubt clearing video. Let us first understand what are homonyms. Homonyms are words that are similar in pronunciation but different in meaning and spelling. Sometimes these words are also called phonic pairs because they sound similar. Some common examples of homonyms are hair and hair. Hair is an animal while hair is a part of a body. The hair has soft white hair. Weak and weak. Weak is a lack of strength or ability, while weak is any seven periods of consecutive days. He reported that he was feeling weak throughout the week. TO2 is a preposition, TOO is an adverb, and TWO2 is an adjective. These words sound similar, they are pronounced similar, but they have different spellings and meanings. So they are the examples of homonyms. Have you heard of troublesome twosome? These troublesome twosomes are some more examples of homonyms. Take a look at this, loose and loose. The meaning of loose is not tight and the meaning of loose is to misplace or to not win. The patient complained of loose stools and the patient began to lose weight. Look at another example, sight, sight and sight. The meaning of C-I-T-E, sight, is to acknowledge. When you reveal any fact, be sure to cite the source. S-I-G-S-T, sight, can be used both as noun and verb. The meaning of S-I-G-S-T, sight, as a noun is the ability to see or something that is seen. For example, that was a wonderful sight. Sight as a verb means to glimpse. For example, they said that a strange object was sighted in the sky last night. The meaning of S-I-T-E, sight, is a location. For example, the archaeological site exposed several layers of human occupation. These are some more examples of homonyms. You can take a screenshot of it for your better understanding. Some words sound same, but they have different spellings and meanings. Such words are called homophones. In Greek language, homo means same and phone means sound or utterance. So homophones are similar sounding words with different meanings and different spellings. These are some examples, two, two and two, see and see, hear and hear, birth and birth, altar and altar, cast and cast, days and days, etc. In fact, all homophones are homonyms. It is like the same person known with two different names. Now, there are words that are spelled the same but have different meanings. That means the spelling is all the same but the meaning is completely different. Such words are called homographs. In Greek language, homo means same and graph means write or writing. 
take a look at these examples. So, as a verb means to plant seeds. For example, if you sow the seeds today, you'll reap the harvest tomorrow. So, as a noun means of female pig. For example, the sow in the sty is perfect to be sold. Beer as a verb means to support or carry. For example, he says he cannot bear the pain of losing his friend. Beer as a noun means animal. For example, the beer has destroyed my entire farm. Bat as a noun has two different meanings. B-A-T bat means an animal. For example, bats appear at night. B-A-T bat as a noun also means a sport equipment. For example, he hit the ball with a bat. Close as a verb means shut. For example, did you close the windows before leaving the house? Close as an adjective means near. For example, my house is close to the school. These words that we saw just now have the same spelling and same pronunciation but the meanings are completely different. So these words are homographs. Homographs have the same spelling and pronunciation but have different meanings. Now look at these examples. M-I-N-U-T-E as a noun is pronounced minute meaning a unit of time. For example, wait here, I'll be back in a minute. M-I-N-U-T-E as an adjective is pronounced minute, which means tiny. For example, the investigating team did not spare even the minute details. L-I-V-E as a verb is pronounced leave. For example, my friend and his wife live in Delhi. L-I-V-E as an adjective is pronounced live. For example, I am watching a live cricket match between India and Bangladesh. W-I-N-D as a noun is pronounced wind. For example, the cold wind from the mountains reminded me of winter days. W-I-N-D as a verb is pronounced wind, which means to end or conclude. For example, I think this is enough. Shall we wind up for the day? T-E-A-R as a noun is pronounced tear, which means a drop of liquid secreted by the eyes. For example, the tears in her eyes spoke more than her words. T-E-A-R as a verb is pronounced as tear, which means to pull apart in pieces. For example, I told her to tear a sheet of paper into pieces. This word can be pronounced as minute and minute. This word can be pronounced as leave and live. This word can be pronounced as wind and wind. And this word is pronounced as tear and tear. These words have the same spelling but different pronunciations. So these words are heteronyms. Remember, homophones have the same pronunciation but are spelt differently and have different meanings. For example, mate and mate, weak and weak. Homographs have the same spelling and same pronunciation but have different meanings. For example, beer and beer, so and so, bow and bow. But heteronyms have the same spelling but different pronunciations and different meanings. For example, tear and tear, minute and minute, leave and live, etc. Hope this is clear to you. Friends, if this video has helped you out in any way, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification icon as well so that you receive all of my upcoming videos. This channel is an ocean of learning. See you next time with another video. Till then, take care and keep learning with Mr. B.